Welcome to Electron Line. Well, it turns out the derivative of the function y equals e to the x is very simple. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So here we have the exponential function y equals e to the x. The derivative of that is equal to the x. Another way of writing that is the d dx of e to the x is e to the x. So this is the only function in all of mathematics where the derivative of a function is equal to the function itself. And that kind of gives us an insight into the meaning of the natural number. That's the natural growth rate of anything where the growth, which is represented by the slope of the function, is equal to the function itself. That's why it's the natural growth rate. Well, let's explore that just a little bit more. Let's say that we take the function when x is equal to zero. Now, e to the x becomes e to the zero, which is equal to one, which means that if we take the derivative of the function and then we plug in zero for x, again, we get e to the zero, which is the derivative evaluated at x equals zero, and that becomes equal to one. Matter of fact, a more accurate way of writing that would be to say that the, d, the dy dx when x equals 0 is e to the 0 is equal to 1. So that's a more accurate way of writing that. Again, here as well, of course, if we write that e to the x when x is equal to 0, that's actually what we're meaning, that's e to the 0, which is equal to 1. That means that the slope of the function is equal to 1. We go over here, when x is equal to 0, the slope of the function is equal to 1. Now, what happens when we let x equal 1? Then we have e to the 1 becomes e, which is approximately 2.718. We say approximately because, of course, it's, it's a number that has a non-repeating decimal going out to infinity. So we can say that 2.718, if we just take the first three decimal places, is equal to the number e. And therefore, the derivative of that, when x equals 1, we get e to the 1 power, which is 2.718 which represents the slope at that point. So when we go to x equals 1, the slope over here is equal to 2.718. And then when we let x equals 2, notice the slope over here is going to be 7.389. In other words, the slope is equal to the value of that function at that point, which means that we draw a line over here. The value over here would be 2.718. The value over here is equal to 1, and the value over here of the function is going to be equal to 7 point, or was it, 389. So what essentially is happening here, you can see that the slope of the function is equal to the value of the function. When x equals 0, the slope is 1, and the value of the function is 1. When x equals 1, the slope is 2.718, and the value of the function is 2.718. When x equals 2, the slope is 7.389, and the value of the function is 7.389. And so that's what we mean by the derivative of the function y equals e to the x. It's equal to the function e to the x, and when we plug in any value for x, we get the same value for the slope as we do for the function. And that's what we mean by looking at the derivative of e to the x. Hmm, it's quite interesting. It's the only function in all of mathematics that does that, e to the x.